So I just got myself one of these new rigid shop vacs. And the first thing that really stood out to me is just how little material the new one is made out of compared to the old one. I mean seriously, even with all the accessories attached, I can still push it around with just one finger. But this marvel of modern value engineering got me thinking, what if I made my own accessory that just eliminates the hose entirely? You know, push the whole vacuum around instead, cleaning as I go, like a little Zamboni. Now in order to determine what size PVC pipe I need, I guess I could get a caliper and measure the inner diameter of one of these shop vac accessories, but I thought it was just easier to bring the accessory right to the hardware store. So I went ahead and got some 2 inch pipe. I figured that would be good for plenty of airflow. And then I just sort of laid everything out so I could take a good look at it and make some cursory measurements. After I'd taken a look at it and decided where I wanted everything to go, I made a couple of little marks. It ended up being right at about 20 inches wide. Then I could go over to my chopping bandsaw, which is way overkill for the job, but very handy, and cut it all down to length. After that, I could sort of assemble it as a dry fit just to get an idea of how it would look with all the different pieces installed. And it, uh, it looked pretty good. Then I was able to get out my handy dandy T-square and just mark a nice line along the lower third of the assembled pipe piece and take it right over to the vertical bandsaw and go ahead and just make a nice slice all the way along the bottom to essentially create an opening for the dust to go. Now I encountered a problem and that was that after I sliced off the lower third of the pipe a lot of the rigidity of the pipe disappeared so I couldn't use standard PVC cement which is why you see me assembling this with hot glue Definitely not my first choice of adhesive, but it actually seemed to work pretty well. This is not a shill, but Ryobi cordless glue gun. Best tool ever made. Seriously, buy one of these. So I was thinking about how I was going to connect the attachment part that goes along the floor to the actual vacuum itself. And my first thought was to just take the end off of the hose here and try to figure out how to put that into a 90 degree PVC elbow. But when I was at the hardware store, I found this, which is a two inch to threaded PVC adapter. And all I'm gonna do is put a little piece of pipe into that and then put that onto the 90 degree elbow. The problem is it was just slightly too big to fit into the vacuum cleaner. So I took it to the belt grinder and I don't know if you can see that, but I just turned it down a hair on the belt grinder to make sort of a conical shape and that way I can screw it right into the intake and it's very rigidly attached and then I can take the 90 degree piece and just put it on there like that. So now all that's left to do is set this like this. I'm going to measure up a piece of PVC for here and then I'm going to have to do some tweaking I think to set just the right height off of the floor. Okay, so there are clearly a couple issues with this design. The first one is that it fell off. The second is that it's too close to the floor. When I went over that rough patch, it hit the floor, and that's why it fell off. So I think we can fix both of these problems. Okay, this was one of those problems where the solution seems very simple, but the actual execution is very complicated. I tried a couple of things, they didn't work so well, but eventually I circled back around and arrived at the simplest, most efficient solution. This is a piece of wood. 
there's a C-shape cut in the top of it using a hole saw that's the exact same size as the pipe. There's a hole drilled right here, about an inch behind the cutout for the pipe, and through that, there's a hose clamp running. This block of wood makes use of the curvature of the vacuum cleaner body so that when it slides up and down the pipe, it adjusts the height. Well, what about the problem of it loosening up out of the intake and falling off, you ask? Well, I discovered that putting a little bit of outward pressure on this puts a nice amount of leverage on here, which puts just enough lateral force on this joint that it doesn't fall out. So this piece of wood actually does double duty, whether I designed it to or not. Okay, so, my closing thoughts. First off, this worked a lot better than I thought it would. Especially because I came up with this this morning while I was eating breakfast, so my expectations were reasonably low. One thing that did surprise me was how well it picks up fine dust. I guess that's just due to how close it is to the floor. Obviously, I don't have it set at the highest setting, and you probably noticed when I pushed it into a real large pile of dust, it sort of plowed it forward. Obviously, that could be fixed by just raising it up a little bit, which I could do. But yeah, I'm very impressed by how well it actually cleans the floor, especially all the way out at the edge, which leads me to my sort of next point, which is I definitely still think there's room for improvement, especially in the design of this floor head part. I mean, obviously, cutting some PVC in half on the bandsaw is not the most elegant solution, although, that being said, I'm not sure what is. Um, if anybody has made something like this before, um, please uh, link a video, send me a comment, send me an email. I'd love to hear about it because I think that this is a really cool idea. But anyway, enough talking. I've got some floors to clean.